What are the current challenges with some proprietary virtualization solutions? Lock-in. Lock-in, lock-in, lock-in. Well, proprietary software locks you in in almost every possible way. It locks you on the budgeting front due to licenses that tend to be unreasonably expensive. It locks you in on the supply chain diversification front, making you fully dependent on a single vendor. And last but not least, it locks you in in terms of the technology your business uses every day. Why might companies choose an open source virtualization alternative? Open source solutions bring flexibility, cost savings, and increased flexibility. Without the restrictions that are usually imposed by vendor lock-in, you get a chance to customize your infrastructure according to your own specific requirements. So for businesses that are valuing cost reductions, flexibility, and strategic independence, open source is truly a good choice, especially when you take into account the continuous improvement and enhanced security that comes from the collaborative nature of open source development. Is open source really less secure? I mean, let's be clear. All software has bugs, open source and closed source. Somewhere in those code bases, there's going to be some kind of defect or vulnerability. The question is, is who finds them and when? With, with closed source software, it can be said it's more difficult to find any vulnerabilities there because, of course, that software has been compiled. Somebody has to reverse engineer it to find any, any vulnerability. Clearly, as we see from proprietary technology or proprietary software, that happens. There are people who are motivated to go and do those things. What's interesting is more who can fix those vulnerabilities and how quickly can they do that. The greatest difference between open source and closed source is the time that it will take uh, to have those vulnerabilities fixed. With closed source, it's going to be reliant on the vendor that created the software initially. Nobody else can go and fix that software. With open source, the, the unique thing about it is that anybody can propose a fix. It could be another vendor that provides support, it could be some community member, but anybody can provide uh, a solution to any of those, those vulnerabilities that, that get identified.